Youth with Spork, and today I'm just going to show you how to do some basic stuff in uh, EGP. So you're going to need to go to Visuals, Screens, EGP version 3. You can choose whatever model you like. Um, I think it's it's scaled with vectors instead of like bit mapping. It's vectors, so everything is scaled. Um, like this has 200 by like this isn't exact. It's like probably 400 by something, and this is the same way, it's just scaled up. Um, you'll, I could show you what I mean, but it's pretty simple. And um, um, so here we have our E2. So I named mine EGP Basics. You could make this like store one if you're trying to create a uh, gun store. So I don't, you can make this whatever you want, but I'm gonna make this EGP Basics. And we'll only be needing inputs we don't need any of that other stuff, so we just do this. We'll make a wire link to the EGP. This could be whatever you want, like lol, um, dip, shit. Like you could, you could do L. You could do whatever is easy for you or whatever you think you can memorize. You just put that in there. Um, so let's put down our E2 and let's put down our EGP screen. And I like this one. I just like how thin it is and it's square shape. You could do this one, you could do whatever you want. And so let me close all these. Uh, we want to go here, and we want to go here. So I'm going to wire that uh, input to the output of the EGP. And we will do this. So now these are linked. So when we write stuff concerning this input, uh, it will hopefully go on that screen. So. Let's try this. So we need to reference our our wire link. So EGP is the name of it. Uh, and we have to say, because it's an EGP, it uses EGP commands. So you can't do a, like a write. You can't do these because that works on console screens. But you can do a EGP commands, which personally I think are better. And let's just make a text. So EGP text, pretty simple command. And uh, all EGP objects have to have an index. It's kind of like holograms. If you haven't worked with holograms, what I mean by index is um, they all, like, each object needs to have a numerical value. Like, uh, imagine a, a book. You have a bunch of pages. Each page has a page number. And, like, there's not a page, like, 150, and then the next page is page 150. You know, you, you can only have one of that object. So we have EGP text, and we need an index. You can use 0, 1. You can use whatever note. You could use like that. You could do whatever you want. I like to use 1. And we need a string. So this could be like a, you could have an input that's a string, like a name, string. You could have an input. You could have a variable, like a guy equals me. And you could put in guy. Let's see, do we have to say that it's a string? No, we don't. I don't think we do. You might have to uh, clarify that it's a string, and if that doesn't work, just do that. And it'll include it with the string. And uh, we need a position, so this is a two-dimensional vector. So it's just x and y. We'll put it 10 inches, or not 10 inches, 10 pixels to the right and 10 pixels down. And we'll save that, upload it, and click. Let's see if it'll work without that, because I don't want to have that in there. It just looks weird. Yeah, okay. And we can change this to uh, him or something. You know, you can you could have this be a variable, or you could just have this be like a um, hello world. You can directly put in the string. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with that. And uh, so that's how you write stuff. And we can do... EGP, EGP size, let's say we want to make this like a title screen, right? So we need to give it the uh, index that we're trying to change. So we're trying to change the size of the first object. And we need a two-dimensional vector because that's how things work in EGP other than colors. And we'll increase the size by 20. Uh, I think the default size is actually 20. My bad. Let's see if that works. What the heck? <laughs> Does this not work on text anymore? Hmm. All right, interesting. I'll show you size on a different thing. I just screwed that up. All right, let's try a EGP box because I know this works. So we'll make it a 
I make it one. So the first, uh, all right, the first parameter is the index. The second parameter is its position. So I'll actually put this a little more towards the center of the screen. And we'll do vector two. And this one is the size. So we'll make it like that. And that should be a square. Yeah, and then we'll say this, um, EGP, EGP size. Maybe it's just, is it one? Is that what they do now? No. It should just still be a vector. Do 40 by 40. See, the box gets bigger. And uh, you can also do color. This one, you need a three-dimensional vector just because colors come in red, green, and blue. So these values, the max is um, 255 and the minimum is zero. Um, I think you might actually be able to do um, transparency, but I'm not sure if EGP supports that. So let's, let's try like 155. Yeah, transparency isn't really a thing. So, all right, well, I mean, it is a thing, but I don't think it works in a EGP, but I might be wrong. So we just need a normal vector and we can make this like blue or no this will be green my bad and uh you could do like a uh, kind of a purplish color light pink and uh you can you could change that color to whatever you want as long as it's between 255 and 0 and uh yeah that's like pretty much the basics of uh, EGP um i guess what else you you could uh Make like rounded boxes, I think. Yeah, and this is just the uh, one. Or we need to change the index. So two, vector two. This should be the position. So we'll do ten by ten, and we'll just do size ten by ten. That just looks. Oh, maybe because it's not big enough. We'll move this down the screen a little bit just because I don't want it to go outside of the screen. Let's see what it looks like if it's a little bigger. That just looks like a circle to me. Doesn't, doesn't that just look like a circle? It's not a rounded box. Is that a rounded box? Like, <laughs> oh no, that's way too big, okay. Okay, it is a rounded box. It's just we have it as a square, which I guess turns it into a round, or a circle. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so now you can you can tell it's a rounded box a little more. So you could put like text in there or something. You just have to put it on that location. Figure out the scaling, I'm not gonna do that for you. Uh yeah, and you can also make um EGPs are uh, you can interact with them with buttons and such. So let's create an input called button and we'll say if button equals one we need it to do something and you should know at least basic input and output if not like feel free to comment and I'll make a little quick tutorial on that so I'll make uh, if you press this button or if this button is outputting a value equal to one we will create a triangle so triangles are super duper fun and they're not they suck so you need three two-dimensional vectors and these control the three points of the triangle. So we'll put this at 90 and uh, 90. And I'm going to remove this rounded box, actually. And I'm also going to remove that, just so I can do a little triangle. And then we'll put this one at, let's see, uh, 60 and 180. And we'll put this one at 120 and 180, so it looks somewhat decent. And then we'll do if button, uh, we can just do an else statement. We don't need to do another thing. Else, um, EGP, we'll make it a box if the button's not being pressed. So position, um, 20 by 20. Size, like that. Uh, I need to do an EGP clear real quick. 
just so we can remove that rounded box. Okay. Um, so now let's go to input and output. We'll put a button. We'll have it be toggled just so it uh, it doesn't go away if it's not being pressed. So see, it's a triangle, now it's a box. And you can do all kinds of stuff with that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little basic tutorial. I hope I didn't ramble on too badly. And uh, yeah, subscribe and throw a like on this video. Peace.